dreams that have brought you this far and dreams that will carry you ahead. I wanted to give you all a gift that would serve to remind you of the importance of keeping your dreams alive. I know the dreams that some of you have. Lisa, we're all envious when we hear of your plans to travel to Australia. Laura, lots of luck in your quest to play volleyball at the University of Winnipeg. Aaron, we need people like you to work with our children. Melody, how fortunate the medical profession would be to have you on their team. Justin, life in Toronto and a career on stage. Sounds exciting to me. These are just some of the dreams that these young people have. During this ceremony tonight, you'll hear more about their hopes and dreams, and we wish them all well in the future. So here's my gift to all of you. Melanie, I know you'll appreciate it. You're a country music fan. The rest of you, I couldn't find anything techno that would suit the audience here, nor the venue. So here is my gift. No, it's not mine.
Family Studies 40G, Melissa Foster. Highest Achievement Family Studies 40S, Jessica Joyce. <laughs> the Highest Achievement in Foods and Nutrition 30G was awarded to a Senior 4 student, Dan Odette. Nutrition 40G, Ashley Lemoy. <laughs> Highest Achievement, Foods and Nutrition 40F, Adam Nassif. <laughs> Our next subject area is Industrial Arts. Achievement Applied Woods Technology 40S, Brian Bendler. <laughs> Our next subject area is mathematics. Yes, consumer was awarded to a senior four student, Ray Wee. <laughs> Highest achievement, math 40S, academic supported, Ashley Lemoyne. Highest Achievement Math 40S Consumer, Angela DeJardin. Our highest award in Math 40S Pre-Calculus was handed out yesterday to a Senior 3 student, Andy Hong. Highest Achievement, Drama 30S, awarded to a Senior 4 student, Michelle Gibbons. <laughs> Michelle has also been awarded the Highest Achievement in Choirs 40S. Local Jazz 40S, Mark Jenkins. <laughs> Highest achievement in music band 40S and jazz band 40S, Jackie Champagne. Michelle Gibbons, you are also awarded a Highest Achievement in Jazz 40S Award. <laughs> Highest Achievement.
Evening Kid Orchestra, Jennifer Babcock. Highest Achievement Guitar 40S, Melissa DeGandhi. Our final music award is presented to Mark Jenkins for highest achievement in musical theater. Our next subject area will be science. Achievement Biology 40S, Megan Humphreys. <laughs> Highest Achievement Chemistry 40S, Mark Jenkins. Highest Achievement Physics 40S, Paul Lavoisier. Yeah. Our next subject area is the Social Studies. Highest Achievement World Issues 40S and Law 40S, Jessica Joyce. Claire has lived out 
her dream this year of experiencing life in a foreign country. She'll be heading back to France and attending university. Ashley Lemoy. Ashley hopes to be working in a daycare. Carmen Davis. Carmen plans on taking a year off and then attending university in the fall. Erin Ashdown, Erin will be attending the University of Manitoba. Dan Odette, Dan will continue to work part time and take courses at the University of Winnipeg. Jen Babcock, we've met many times this evening. She plans on entering the University of Winnipeg and majoring in biochemistry. Boniface Arts and Technology Center and then uh, entering the U of M for an engineering degree. Jean-Louis Garand. Jean-Louis will be working and then he plans to enroll in the Northwest Law Enforcement Academy but he will not forget his jiu-jitsu training. <laughs> Paul Lavasse, who we've met many times this evening, will be going to the University of Manitoba. He hopes to attain his PhD in accounting and attend the Asper School of Business. Steve Nolan will be attending the University of Manitoba. Adam the Thief, we've met this evening. His nickname is Pharaoh. He will be attending the U of W and getting a BA in sociology and hopes to head into law school. Patty Burdell, 
Patty plans on attending the U of M and obtaining her bachelor of nursing degree. Asia Allard. Asia plans on attending St. Boniface College, improving her Spanish and becoming a destination representative. Scott Barrett. Scott will be working full time. Hello, Melanie Bertrand, if you've met this evening, she will be attending the University of Winnipeg with a Bachelor of Science majoring in Biology. Fatima Kumbleli will be attending the University of Winnipeg and plans to pursue a career as an accountant. Chris Beesbrick, Chris will be working full time with hopes of attending university in the future.
John Graff. John will be entering the University of Winnipeg with hopes of becoming a teacher. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the graduates. 
learning how to keep our friends by sharing and listening, how to develop our thoughts to express ourselves, and to never give up so that we may, so that we may touch the stars. Isn't it funny how everything appeared so gigantic when we were children, even time stretched out? We got lost in grocery stores, our school years were almost endless, and it always seemed that buildings towered over us. It was at that point in our lives that we began to gain so much, the knowledge that has led us here today. As time passed, turning into years and friendships, memories and dreams, and now as this one step stands before us, did you ever sit back just once to realize that the world around us begins to diminish? Since the beginning of our high school careers, we struggled at times, facing challenges that sometimes defeated us, which in the end only made us stronger. I can also say that we thought that the end, that graduation would take an eternity to arrive, but reality has proven once again never to underestimate the power of time. To say this is to say we've accepted that we're taking one small step from our certainties into a world unknown. Some of us will end our education here, moving into the workplace, the traveling experiences, or the relaxation that only the television and the couch can provide. Others will continue for a second day levels. It has definitely taken many long, laborious hours to accomplish all that we have. We tackled homework until we were blue in the face, and participated in many extracurricular activities representing our school and showing our pride. We've transitioned enormously, becoming who we are today because of the time and dedication we and all the people in our lives have contributed. We say farewell for the time, and I leave you with this poem, summarizing our high school years. Now, although we're happy that we've made it, we're sad as we go. With all the life skills that we've learned, there's one thing you need to know. Know that we'll always cherish you and look back on these years, remembering all the pride and laughter, our struggles and our fears. We'll remember tag and dances and guest speakers that were fun, the academics, music, and the sports, because we've always felt we won. We'll remember all the essays assigned by Mr. Teggy and miss the puns lifted by Mr. Harry saying, Miss the Homer, that's not likely. We'll remember the special anthems and hanging in the cafe with our friends. And if we were asked to repeat this time, I'm sure we'd do it all again. But most of all, we'll remember every person who made the school our own, who helped build a community and a family and a place to call our home. On behalf of the graduating class of 2002, I would like to thank every single teacher for, you, for being so devoted to our success, so supportive of our futures, for bringing us challenges, and for taking that extra minute out of your busy schedules to be our friend. I would also like to thank the parents for believing in us every step of the way, for pushing us towards our dreams and pulling us back into reality when we needed it most. And last, but definitely not least, I would personally like to thank my fellow graduates for being all that I could ever ask for, with you as my classmates, friends, and my mentors, I have grown over these past three years. Whatever your future holds, I wish you the best of success, and hope your lives are filled with riches of personal satisfaction, gratitude, and happiness. Now as I stand here tonight, I can proudly say that the one true memory of our adolescence is the memory of Windsor Park Collegiate. Congratulations, we've made it. Now Melanie can relax. In closing today, I would like to ask Mr. Fraser to come forward with some closing remarks. Thank you, Ms. Maxwell. Well, here you are. You came in tonight, graduates, and now you are about to leave graduates. There's a difference, you know. I, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for coming out tonight to help us celebrate the convocation of the class of 2002. And I would also like to thank uh, some of our former staff members uh, who came out to join uh, our staff. Um, I know that uh, Ms. Smallwood is out there, Mr. Lane is out there, you taught many of these uh, people. And uh, a special recognition for Ms. Olivia Stadnick, who retired as Vice Principal at uh, Windsor Park Collegiate just a few years ago. So, um, welcome and thank you for being here. This was a school year that opened with the tragedy of September the 11th, but it is ending with great optimism 
and great joy. And I would like to extend an invitation to all of you to join myself and WPC staff members at a reception which will be um, held. Now I'm going to give you some directions. <laughs> there are a lot of us, so um, after we finish the recessional, you can just go out to your left as you're facing the back, and then you go down those few steps, keep going, and upstairs to the fellowship hall, and that's where our reception will be held. Um, a few words of thanks are in order at this time. Thank you to the parent council who organized and set up tonight's reception. Thank you to staff and guests for assisting us with this evening's presentations. Thank you to Ms. Maxwell, who, with the assistance of our office staff, Joe Bent, Shirley Cairns, and Doris Doucette, organized tonight's graduation ceremonies. Now, to conclude, I would like to have the class stand, please. No, not you. <laughs> and I would like them to extend their appreciation to you, the parents, guardians, families, friends, for all the support that you've given. <laughs> and now, I proudly present to you, on behalf of all of the staff at Windsor Park Collegiate, our graduates, the class of 2002.